I've become quite a fan of puzzles. It's a great way to bring people together, um, solve puzzles together, solve challenges together, but in a fun kind of lighthearted way. Maybe there's a parallel there with the work that I do. I've always been very interested in, in, in science and in discovering medicines. My father uh, worked at a drug company for, for 35 years, and, and so I kind of got exposed early on to um, what, what the, the kind of the life is like when you're trying to, to work towards this end. And, and it's always been very exciting to me, and I've always wanted to be a part of it. When I was uh, in graduate school, my advisor at the time, Jeremy Berg, was asked to take on authorship of a book, a uh, very famous biochemistry textbook written by Lubert Stryer. My sister used it. She was a medical student. She used it in medical school. I used it in graduate school. About 10 years later, it became clear that they needed some additional support in terms of writing the book. And so I was asked to be a, a co-author on the book. It's another way that I feel like I'm, I'm influencing younger scientists and, and kind of making an impact on the community, a larger community. Our group was, was formed about two years ago, and it was based on the, the, the strategy that GSK has uh, initiated, using human genetic data to guide our early work in drug discovery. Human genetically validated targets are twice as likely to be successful in the clinic. We're looking for novelty. We're looking for new medicines that can provide benefit in areas for which there are no medications available. To really be in that position, you really need to be innovative. You really need to, um, to think outside the box and think creatively about, about these problems. Um, I think that starts at the very beginning in terms of using genetics and AIML, for example. The amount of data that's available to us really gives us a new window into diseases that we once thought would be too difficult to treat or too challenging, or we didn't understand the patient populations all that well. It's a very exciting time. And GSK has a number of great partnerships that we've developed with UK Biobank and FinGen and also our exclusive partnership with 23andMe. That's really given us an opportunity to collaborate with really world-class organizations and, and take advantage of their prowess in, in terms of getting that data. We're actually providing the first in the lab test of these ideas. It's still pretty groundbreaking what GSK is trying to do in terms of tying that in with target identification, picking the right disease populations, picking the right diseases to, to pursue, getting, getting medicines to patients quicker. I think is really the goal and I think it can really play a very important role in that. Mm -hmm.